Woo, woo. Bro, woo, eaty, woo. Bro, woo, eaty, woo. So glad that you guys could get out there and do your thing, touching the hearts of Great Britain with art and culture and aesthetic nourishment and soul-stirring good stuff. Good on you guys. So pleased that you can do these monodramas. I think it's a great idea and I look forward to seeing some of it. Now, I have chosen a poem to contribute to my expressive efforts. And this poem is The Poison Tree, or A Poison Tree by William Blake. I chose this poem because I love it, but it means a lot to me. I read it first when I was a teenager for A-levels, but it stuck with me. It was more than just a text for an exam. It struck me at the time as being quite wise and it's only grown in its significance since then. I think now more than ever, the idea that, firstly, that art can illuminate a frame of mind, an attitude, a way of being, and even show the results of that way of thinking, I just think is extraordinary. And secondly, the attitude in this poem of someone who holds on to their spite and their wrath and what it does to them and what it does to the people around them. I think this is a really good thing for us to examine now more than ever. And so it's just another way of saying this is one of those pieces of art that teaches us how to live. So without further ado, A Poison Tree by William Blake. I was angry with my friend. I told my wrath, my wrath did end. I was angry with my foe. I told it not. My wrath did grow. And I watered it in fears. Night and morning with my tears. And I sunned it with smiles and with soft, deceitful wiles. And it grew, both day and night, till it bore an apple bright. And my foe beheld it shine, and he knew that it was mine. And into my garden stole, when the night had veiled the pole. In the morning, glad I see, my foe outstretched beneath the tree. Well, there you go. I <laughs> hope you enjoy it. Have a good one.